welcome to Laura's World. I'm Laura and I have pulled out just about every green scrunchie I could find and I'm having a time. I think this is the best we're gonna find. Yeah, this is it. So I'm hungry, but I'm not like that hungry. Although it's always good for me to have a snack. Yeah, fat girls gotta eat, look out. Oh, it's because I'm a type one diabetic and usually around this time every night I start to lull. It's 9.35 p.m. on the 7th of November, which is Monday. Hey, I knew what day it was without having to look. I mean, I had to look at the time, but I knew what day it was. Anyway, I just want to share how cute and adorable my husband can be sometimes. So on this whole thing about I got to have a snack or something and I don't really, I don't want anything heavy. I don't want anything hot. I don't want to like think about it. He made me this cute little plate of sharp cheddar cheese and some store-bought crackers. And yeah, my plate is all weird looking because these are 2000s era Ikea plastic plates that have been run through three different dishwashers. Um, I think it's probably time for them to go, but I was assured by Ikea that they're actually not leaching anything and that's just a condition of the plastic because they're so old. They're like in their 20s. These plates are in their 20s. Anyway, cheese and crackers, yay! And with that, I slept way too late today. I, I slept into the afternoon and such is the life of a disabled chronic illness harboring um, lump like myself. But ah, I've been struggling with what to say, which normally I have a ton of things to talk about because this, this endless stream of consciousness coming forth from my noggin and today it's just interrupted it's stunted i don't know what the deal is Ugh, nothing that a little grape water can't get going i guess oh my goodness i saw uh, sephora now this can when i bought it was 18 dollars and if you've been watching me for a little while you know that I've been using this. This is still the first can that I've ever had. And it's, it's feeling light. I can feel like, like something is clinking around in there and that's fine. I bought a backup when I saw that it went on sale for $11. I mean, I just saw it on Sephora, on the Sephora app for $10. No, I did not buy another one. I don't, I have no need for it. I also have no space for it. This room is a coaster. But I gotta say, I mean, people are like, why do you use this? It doesn't do anything. Lies. It makes me feel better. It chills me out a little bit. I don't care what temperature, what is it? It's 57 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It got up to 78 degrees today. 78 degrees Fahrenheit is unacceptable for early November. It, we're in the throes of autumn. This isn't pool weather. I mean, I had half a mind to drive the baby to the beach today because like seriously, I don't mean to speak like seriously, but so knock everything over, but that's how I felt like really 78 degrees. Come on. We have the air conditioning running in November. Oh my God. This electric bill is never going to come down. I'm like sick over it. Um, but yeah, so the whole point of that little outburst is because I use the grape water because not only does it make my skin feel softer and better and like I feel I could be wrong here but I feel that it like preps my skin to receive the next things that I'm going to give to it but it also chills me out cools me down a little bit yeah when I think of that stupid comment section on the video about flying while fat I went back to take some screenshots to show to Babs because, you know, I I cite what I'm talking about. I don't just make things up. And of course, I was able to screenshot the comment of the person telling me, well, just try not to be fat or whatever they said, or how about not being obese in the first place? But I went looking for the comment alluding to the idea that obese people should fly in the cargo hold. And of course, it got buried or deleted or purported or something. But I'm still looking for it. I'm going to find it. As long as it's there, I'm going to find it. But I read some more comments and it's just so ugly. People are just so ugly. I'm happy in my own little corner over here recording videos and talking to you guys. But if one day a video should happen to go viral, of course I'm going to have support and of course 
of course I'm going to have you guys, but you know, the jerks out there in YouTube land, they're not going to listen to what I'm saying. I could be saying something absolutely profound. The only thing these people are going to notice is, oh, she's fat. How do I know this? Because there were literal comments from people saying, I didn't hear what anyone said because this person's fat. There's this one girl, I don't remember her name offhand, but she's a beautiful girl. She's got like red curly hair and it's very like very textured and she's covered in freckles and she is a bigger girl and she's married to a thin man and I mean that should say enough. She's happy. Um yeah, she's loved and she's trying to record her adventures while overcoming or fixing her relationship with food is what I believe her account is about. Good for her. Yes, I realize. You put yourself at risk by putting yourself out there. But sometimes putting oneself out there is the drive that they need to continue, the push that they need to make the progress that they want. It's like accountability. It's a kind of accountability if you think about it. And hundreds and hundreds of supportive comments, but you know, there's always the ones that just tear you down. And we human beings by nature have this horrible habit of focusing, like just blinders to anything good. And we just zoom in on the bad stuff, the negative comments, the okay, but you're fat or you're not worth it was literally you're not worth it was a comment like who the fuck are you but these people continue to hang out and troll people's videos because they know it it hurts them comments hurt me but at the same time i'll bitch about them and let it roll off and i know this is the second video i'm still talking about that same mess it's because the, the comments just keep coming they just keep coming I've lived on both sides of the coin. Yes, I've pretty much been a big girl my entire life, but there was a period of time between my late teens, early 20s, where I just about blended in. I was extremely physically active. I was in marching band, and marching band from my high school was not like fun times band camp that you see in the movies. It was like running laps and physical conditioning. It was a lot because our marching style was demanding on the body. So marching and moving and playing an instrument at the same time, it took a lot. So I'm proud to say I stuck it out and I'm sure I'll get into that a little more at some other point. But the, my, the point of bringing this up is I was very physically active. I was considered by the school board an athlete. Anyone in Marching Man was considered an athlete because of what we put our bodies through. The band director would always say he'd put any one of his uh, Marching Man members against any one of the football players, and they never took us up on it. You know why? Because they knew we could compete with them. Because we ran laps, we did the push ups, the sit ups, the sprints the stretching, the physical conditioning, the whole thing. We did it all. And learned how to march by high-stepping, which, if you don't know what that is, I'll, at another point, get into it. And playing the instrument at the same time. That's a lot. And he was not wrong when he said that was more than running with a football. I guess in some alternate universe or in a pipe dream, I'm hoping and wishing that in my lifetime, I'm not looking for special treatment. I'm looking I'm not looking for special dispensation. I'm looking for decency. I'm looking for people to be treated with dignity regardless of their size, the color of their skin, their disposition, their sexual orientation, their gender, any one of the limitless descriptors there are for a human being. None of it should matter, and none of it should be deserving of another person being degraded. Okay, not none. We, we don't love chomos around here, and we don't love racists, and we don't love phobias of... Phobias in terms of hate towards a group. 
we don't we don't like that we, we don't stand hate around here but that's all i'm hoping for is decency decency and respect because i can give it i don't sit around and pretend i'm something that i'm not i don't judge people based on what their size is or what they look like or what they wear or who they're attracted to or what they're doing i judge people based on their character yes really honestly that's all i want in return i'm not perfect i'd like to think that i am mostly a decent human being I know that I don't go out of my way to make bad choices. I, like I said, I like to consider myself to be a pretty decent human being, and that's what I wish to be judged on, not what size I wear. Moving along to my smelly Elemis. Why do I keep using it? Because it works. It makes my skin feel good. It just stinks. Mmm. God. It's like processed spinach kale and other gross things that doesn't that don't smell good to me vegetables they just don't smell good i'll drink v8 i know a lot of people make puking noises at v8 but i'll drink v8 at least that's some way to get vegetation at least i try to get some vegetation in fat haters who all oh, just eat some vegetables hmm no that's not how it entirely works because I've actually had uh, medically, I've been medically prescribed a high protein, high fat, low carb kind of diet. And carb is not just refined sugar or flour, it's like fruit and vegetable. Fruit and veg, as some people say. Another story for another day. Today's fragrance du jour, uh, today's fragrance of the day, that's kind of overdoing it, is uh, Kenzie Loving Life. I don't know if you can see it. The label kind of rubbed off a little bit in the bag that it was in. So I promise you it does say Loving Life and it is described as a feminine mix of sweet juicy berries blended with hints of white floral and unexpected notes of rich woods. Why does it sound like every other fragrance I have? Oh, I guess I have a type, huh? <laughs> That is, that is good, and it is a very surprising hint of woods, kind of woody, berry, white, flowery. I just really like, I guess, Kenzie fragrances. There are some that I like more than others, but on a general scale, I seem to like Kenzie fragrances a lot. Now onto some goodies I have from Charlotte Dumour, the Eye Enhancing Beauty Secrets Kit. The Color Chameleon... Uh, can't read it now. Color Chameleon in award-winning pillow talk and new matte shade. Yeah, I did that because there's two exclamation marks. <laughs> take a take a moment out, uh, time out here for just a second. You all know how much I love Charlotte Tilbury. My girl Charlie, I keep calling her. I love her products. I love her skincare. I love all sorts of shit that she puts out. I'm suckered into it somehow, but I, I like it. I like her stuff. It agrees with me very well. Every other thing is a freaking award-winning label on it. What award? Normally when something wins an award, there's some kind of anecdote on the box or something to denote what the hell the award is, and I have yet to find it. There's nothing on this box. I, truth be told, I didn't dig super hard into her website. Maybe it's there? Is it? Has anyone else seen anything? Just, just saying. I'm not trying to decry my girl, but award winning. What awards? So, these Eye Enhancing Beauty Secrets Kit Color Chameleon Pillow Talk and New Matte Shade. So, I guess they're just basically. What, like eyeshadow pencils? Can you see them? Sort of, kinda. You can see the color, you can tell. Oh yeah, side note. Because telling a linear story is not in my skill set. 
Um, I want to just peeling my gel manicure off. I know that's a big no-no. You're not supposed to do that. It's not necessarily the greatest thing for your nails, hence why my nails look like a piece of shit right now. They're all stained from previous nail polish anyway. Um, and busted and broken and I need to file them, but I said I wanted to do a new one and I don't think I'm getting to it this evening, but I'll get there. So that explains why my nails are all yeesh. Pillow talk and smoky pillow talk. There's an ingredient list. Do not use inside the eye. Thanks. In like eight languages. Made in Germany. So essentially these are two eyeshadow pencils. Uh, take a look at the... Really? Okay, that was weird. There's the product. It's tip. Seems to be like a regular pencil. I think I have that two-barreled sharpener. I have a lot of things that need sharpening coming up. So that is the regular Pillow Talk, and then here is the Pillow Talk, sm or smoky Pillow Talk, rather. Less shimmer, a little more brown. Okay. Maybe I'll put that on in a minute. And the other thing that I got, somebody Somebody is gonna come kill me. Someone is gonna come flying through this screen and take me by the throat, I think, because I went and did it. What did I go and do? I went and got the Pillow Talk Beautifying, pa Beautifying Face Palette. Beautifying brush and glow for eyes, cheeks, and face. I have this in fair because I am fair. I wanted to get medium because I think the colors looked a little better but they might have been a little too stark on me. So here we are. I done I done it. I went and got the palette, the fancy palette. Big, big mirror. Very fancy. A piece of plastic came flying out at me, of course. Of course. It has a very interesting kind of holographic cover detail like mother of pearl opaly you get what i'm getting at it's very pretty this stuff is just so pretty but why did i do it the usage instructions give uh like a one two three four kind of circular situation and it says a dreamy beautifying pillow talk blush i said brush before i don't know why blush and glow and a palette for all over face cheek and eye gilding brush over cheeks cheekbones temples inner corner of the eyes eyelids cupid's bow and decolletage thanks for the tips just on a side note it's not fair it's uh fair dash medium which makes more sense because i fall in between i'm not quite fair and i'm not quite medium um uh, I'm less pale than I initially thought I was by everything I'm learning through makeup, which is great. It's probably just the freckles, but there's no awards won for this product. There's no award winning on this product because it just came out. So I would be extremely suspicious if, yes, I said suspicious if it said award winning on it because it like came out five minutes ago so there's one more bunch of stuff that i'm going to unbox and go over right now and yes i did have a twitch <laughs> sorry um the second one i did on purpose but it came in this pretty black box from a mr francois nars is it nars nar nars i i'm everybody calls it nars could be wrong but Ooh, ah. I thought that was kind of neat. I never received packaging like this. Everything is black. I'll show the freebie samples first. It's the classic NARS Orgasm Blush. There's no faking the award-winning awards. Afterglow. Oh my god. John, Johnny Ross, is that his name? He's hysterical and he's like not fibbing when he talks about the outlandish names that NARS has for their products. They don't even try to hide it. <laughs> An iconic rush so deeply flattering, it's enough to make you blush. Experience it to believe it. It's their iconic shade. 
And the other one says, show more cheek. Iconic shades, inimitable formula, experience cult favorite NARS blush in sex appeal. There it is. And in the event you were wondering, that is his face. Is it gonna focus? There you go. Oh, hi, Mr. NARS. The next freebie wasn't a sample, it's actually just a free dual item because I bought other things, is the Summer Orgasm Mini Duo. Makes sense that they're giving it away. It's an iconic duo, but it's for summer, and it's fall. Oh, though, what did I just say? The, the weather, Mother Nature thinks it's summer, apparently, so maybe this will work out. Okay, and both things are wrapped in black paper. We have the Afterglow Lip Balm and then the Orgasm Blush Mini. It has a mirror on it, as you can see, and that's a pretty decent amount of product for a freebie. It's a balm. I love lip balms. I can't focus. And then, of course, here we have the mini. This will last quite some time. I like their pack, like the packaging mostly. It's it's like a soft matte finish. I don't know. The, it's a texture thing. I kind of enjoy the texture. But even the even the mini lippy it has a, a pink, it looks goldish, but it does trust me when I say this, it has a pink hue to it. And so, I mean, I'm not mad about these being free. I'll use them. Continuing on with purchase number one of three, I have the unwrapped mini eyeshadow palette. And the shades are as follows. Full Moon, Maximum Pleasure, Danger Girl, Wild One, Pattaya, and Seduced. I mean, that's pretty innocuous. It has a, a mirror. That's a nice touch, but... And the shades are very pretty. I could definitely see myself using them. But I would have to use, like, a Q-tip or the world's smallest eyeshadow brush. Because it's, it's a mini, but then again, it was actually very inexpensive. So, again... Two times in one brand, I'm not mad. Product purchase number two is the Air Matte Lip Color in shade, oh, in shade Total Domination. It's uh, a bright orangey red, maybe a fire red, flame red. I'm not 100% on that, what to call it, but is it a, yeah, it's a liquid, liquid lipstick. Pretty standard, but narrow applicator that I can't focus on. Of course it's red! And lastly, the saint germain de pre eyeshadow palette. It says on the cover, Nars Claudette. Okay, and the shades are Envy, Joy, Rue de Toron, L'Ephemerie, Nostalgie Liberation. I just butchered that completely, and I know that I did. Um, but hey, effort, right? I'm trying to open it. Ooh. Okay, so we have three mattes, one shimmer, and two glitter. I guess is that one way to look at it? Very lovely tan brown. I'd call that seasonably appropriate, I think. Also has a, a nice mirror. This is not the typical matte plastic case. Uh, rather, it's hard and shiny, but lovely nonetheless. As I drink my Coke with grenadine syrup, side note, again, my husband, love him to pieces. He went and picked up some more grenadine syrup for me because, you know, how much I love my grenadine syrup. And he didn't notice that it was actually infused grenadine syrup, which had pomegranate. Pomegranate's okay. It's not my absolute favorite flavor, but it actually didn't go poorly at all. So I'm trying to figure out, should I do some makeup? Why not? So I never know if you guys want me to talk through what I'm doing or name the products or whatever. 
so I'll try it for now, but please let me know in the comments if you'd prefer me to just zip through everything or if you'd like me to talk about the products that I'm using. Um, so to start, I'm going to use the, the Orgasm Lip Gloss, or Lip Balm, rather, that came from NARS. Actually gives a little bit of a pink sheen. But I put that on just to have a little something to condition the lips while I work on other things. Alright, so I'm going to do my the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream, just to tighten the eye area up a little bit. skin is looking very textured. Not much I can do about that right now. I'm not going to do any foundation, but I am going to put on my trusty pumpkin and silk luminous pre-makeup base, because why not? Just a little bit goes a long way and adds a little dimension to the face. So I'm going to repurpose my Jaclyn Hydrating Under Eye Primer and put it over. Now remember, regardless of what product you use, when it comes to eyeshadow primer or eyelid primer, a little bit goes a long way. Use too much and it's going to look like crap. Alright, so I'm going to use the mini eyeshadow from NARS, and I'm going to do Wild One as an all over. I'm just going to use my fingers. I'm going to use Maximum Pleasure as the inner third. Danger Girl as the outer third. I'm going to put Seduced on my eyelid, although you're probably not going to see it very well because of the whole hooded eyelid. And then full moon as the inner corner. Then I think I'm going to combine these two sample cards. I'm going to use the sex appeal as kind of a, almost a highlighter. See if that works. And then the orgasm as the regular blush. I'm going to use the smoky pillow talk as kind of a liner, but very lightly. And then for the lip, I'm going to go ahead and try this Total Domination Liquid Lip. What do you think? Pretty non-committal, easy-peasy, thrown-together makeup look with a couple of extra flares, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't know what it's doing to the color composition in my camera. It seems to be a little bit um, overwhelming, but hey, that's me. Thanks so much for coming to hang out tonight or today or whenever you're watching this. I truly appreciate you being here. 
feel free to throw me a like, drop a comment, and if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Do it! <laughs> Alright, just make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Drink plenty of water, hydrate, put that SPF on your skin, and have the day that you deserve, which I hope is fabulous. Bye!